Well, two local sisters are hoping to bring awareness to human trafficking through their skating abilities. As Sarah Winkleman takes us to the ice rink to hear about their efforts. Sisters Cora and Jamie are passionate about helping others. I think it's fantastic that the girls are wanting to teach other girls. This weekend, the girls hosted a figure skating show to raise money for the Rising Hope Foundation. We can help people and help girls, and it's just really fun to help other people. With a goal to bring awareness to human trafficking that is happening right here in central Minnesota. There are so many girls that are forced into this against their will, and we're not aware of the large number of girls that have to do this, and that we are here, we can help them, and that there is hope for them. With January being National Skate Month and National Human Trafficking Month, it was perfect timing to lace up the skates to bring awareness. It's really fun to see things happen. Performers from the Breezy Point Figure Skating Club, White Bear Lake Sports Center, and other soloists from around the state all took to the ice with a message of hope. It's just been an incredible experience watching everybody rally for this for the show and this cause. All of the money raised will help with the construction of the Freedom Ranch in Brainerd that will be a group home for girls ages 12 through 17 that are freed from the abuses of human trafficking. The girls coming out of this, they, they have nowhere to go because um, they just they can't go back into normal society right away. So to have a place that is safe for them and allows them to heal um, in their time frame is just amazing. The Rising Hope Foundation says they are still in need of $225,000 to get the Freedom Ranch up and running. But with the Skating for Hope show put on by the Tappy Sisters, they just got a lot closer to their goal. I'm very proud of them. The Freedom Ranch could open as early as this spring. Reporting in Breezy Point, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. If you'd like to make a donation, the link can be found on our website at lptv.org. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.